my name is Amanda and welcome to this tutorial where I will be showing you how to make a simple-ish type half apron. Now this tutorial does come with a pattern or instruction sheet, whichever one you want to call it, because I'm just a little bit worried that people might get a little bit lost in some of the steps, especially during the whole cutting bit of your fabric. So you'll find the link to that down in the description box below and in the pattern you'll see all the measurements and everything that you'll need to make this apron. So with saying that, this is how you make this lovely half apron. To make this apron you will need a piece of printed drill or cotton duck fabric, matching trim to decorate the front pocket, dressmaker's pins, good quality matching thread and thread snips, and then lastly a quilter's ruler, a rotary blade, a sewing machine and an iron. After giving your fabric a good press, fold it in half so that the selvages meet, then fold the fabric in half again. Take your ruler and blade and neaten up the edge as close to the end of the folded fabric as possible. Measure in 3.5 inches from the end and cut one strip across the width of the fabric. Then cut a second one. Place these to one side as they will become the two ties for the apron. Next, flip over the leftover fabric and neaten up the edge like before. Open out the fabric and fold it in half lengthways matching the two edges up perfectly. Measure in 12 inches from the end and then cut this piece off. Fold it in half and place it to the side to be made into the pocket a little bit later. Fold up the leftover piece of fabric and place it to one side as well. It will be used as the main part of the apron. Take the two 3.5 inch strips you cut earlier and trim off the selvage edges from the ends of each one. Fold one strip in half ensuring all edges line up nicely with each other. With the edge of the sewing foot placed slightly off the edge of the fabric, make a small back stitch along the short end of the tie and sew until just before the opposite edge. With the needle still down, lift the presser foot and turn the tie around and sew down the whole length of the tie. Once you reach the end, make a small back stitch and remove from the machine, leaving one end of the tie open. After sewing the other tie strip in the same way, snip the two top corners off and pull the tie apart along the whole length to help with the turning out process. Okay, so this next part requires a whole lot of patience and strength. So fold the top end into itself using your fingers or a chopstick. Then begin to bunch up the length of the tie onto the chopstick. You can actually buy special turning tools to help make this step a whole lot easier, but I don't have one, so I had to do it this way. So once you get to the end, patiently pull the tie inside out. Then pop out the end corners and seams by rubbing them between your fingers. And then do exactly the same thing to turn out the other tie. Next, with a hot steamy iron, press the ties flat along their whole length. And lastly, sew a top seam along each of the sewn edges on both ties to help prevent them from twisting out of shape. Open up the fabric, cut for the pocket lengthways and measure in 16 inches from the end. Make the cut and discard the fabric on the left. The piece that you're now left with should measure 12 inches by 16 inches and have a selvage edge on one of the longer sides. Take this piece to the sewing machine and sew a zigzag stitch along each side excluding the selvage to prevent the edges from fraying. At the ironing board and with the selvage at the top, fold over one of the shorter sides so that it measures close to half an inch along the whole length. Once happy, press the seam into place with a hot steamy iron. Then turn the pocket around and do the same thing to the opposite side. Next, turn the bottom edge up to measure a half inch seam and press it neatly into place. Now to create beautiful pointed corners on your pocket, simply open out the seam and push the little folded edge in, creating a flat triangle. Fold the seam back into place and give it a good press so that it stays in place. 
Then simply do the exact same thing with the opposite corner. Lastly, fold over the top edge with the selvage to a seam that measures about one and a half inches and then press it into place. I also did the fancy mitered corners on this edge too. Next, on the front of the pocket, lay the trims you've chosen to use directly over the selvage seam at the back. Very carefully and patiently pin the trims to the pocket front while also catching the seam at the back. Using a straight stitch, slowly sew both the trims and the seam on the back together, removing the pins as you go. Snip the excess trim from each side, leaving about an inch that you can easily tuck under. Place the pocket to one side to attach to the apron a little later on. Take the piece of fabric set aside earlier for the apron front. Fold it in half so that the leftover selvage edge is on one side. Cut the selvage off with your ruler and blade. Next, patiently sew a zigzag stitch along all four sides of the apron front to help prevent these edges from fraying. Just like with the pocket piece, fold over each of the edges to about half an inch and press it neatly into place. Then mitre each of the corners in the same way as well. Before stitching these seams into place, take one of the ties you made earlier and tuck the open end under the seam along one of the shorter sides and as close to the top edge of the apron as possible. Fold the tie over onto itself and pin it securely into place. Then do exactly the same thing with the other tie on the opposite side of the apron. Take the apron front to the sewing machine and sew a neat straight stitch around all four sides securing the seams. When you approach one of the ties, take your time sewing over it as the layers of fabric will be quite thick. Leave the needle in the fabric at the corner, turn the apron around and continue on sewing. Fold the apron in half widthways to find its centre point. Then do the same with the pocket piece. Place the pocket on top of the apron, lining up the centre folds about five inches down from the top edge. Once you're happy with the placement of the pocket, patiently pin it into place, ensuring that the trim ends at the top are tucked under the pocket. Starting on one side of the pocket, make a small back stitch at the top and then proceed to sew a neat straight stitch as close to the folded edge of the pocket as possible, around all three sides. When you reach the other top side of the pocket, make another small back stitch to finish. Lastly, lower the machine foot along the top edge of the pocket and sew a straight stitch following the folded center line you made in the fabric before. Make back stitches at the beginning and the end to secure the thread in place. Finally, snip off all of the threads left over from your top stitching and that is your half apron finished. I am just so in love with this little apron. I love baking, so I will definitely use this when I'm in the kitchen. And I also absolutely love the fabric that I've used. It just reminds me so much of the Calf Kids and Prince that I just love just so, so much. Now, of course, if you're going to make this little apron yourself, let me know how you go. All of the places that you can find me are down in the description box. And my last thing before I go, I just wanted to remind you that my new uploading day is Fridays. So be on the lookout every Friday for a new video from me in your subscription boxes. Yay! Now, of course, if this is the first video of mine that you've seen and you would like to see more of the things that I do here, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you come and join us. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye!